So three of us lawmakers who stood with our constituents demanding that they take action and hear that thousands of people gathered on Thursday talking about the crisis of mass shootings. Um, we're, our, we've been kicked off our committees as, as representatives elected by our constituents. Each of us represents 78,000 people and our people are being silenced because they're kicking us off committees. They're threatening to take a vote to expel us today. Um, our member ID badges have been shut off. Um, our, our representative ID badges have been shut off. Um, and this is not what democracy looks like. You know, we are elected to serve our constituents and um, I'm the youngest democratic lawmaker here, uh, in the most diverse district. And by shutting me down, they're shutting down the, the voice of my constituents. Um, so this is uh, one of my constituents, Ms. Brooks, and, and so, um, whose family was, was hit um, and, 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 you know, a, a victim of, of the mass, Walt Powell's mass shooting. And so we're here to speak for them. And they won't even let us speak for our people. They wouldn't let us talk on the floor. They shut our microphones off. Um, they, they, they shut our voting machines off. We couldn't even talk about the issue. And so when we went to the well to, to force the issue, they, they called us insurrectionists and are now trying to expel us from the legislature. You just heard from Tennessee State Representative Justin Jones, who explained how he's one of three lawmakers being targeted by Republicans for expulsion after they stood in solidarity with Gen Z activists who peacefully marched to the Capitol last week and disrupted a session in the aftermath of the deadly mass shooting in Nashville. What did they ask for? For gun control. And what are they getting? Well, the expulsion of some of the only lawmakers who chose to stand with them in the aftermath of this violence. And Republicans are disingenuously calling them insurrectionists, which is a claim echoed by propagandists in right-wing media like Matt Walsh and Jack Posobiec. And as a result, these three Democrats may pay the price because they're going to have a vote on expulsion and it seems like there's really nothing that they can do to stop this from happening. So as Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains, Tennessee House Republicans on Monday initiated the process of expelling three Democratic lawmakers who joined protesters in demanding stricter gun laws following the Nashville mass shooting that left three young children and three adults dead. Days after last week's shooting, thousands of demonstrators flooded the Tennessee state capitol to decry GOP lawmakers in action in the face of deadly gun violence. Inside the House chamber, Democratic representatives Justin Jones, Gloria Johnson and Justin Pearson took to the podium with a bullhorn and led demonstrators in chants supporting gun control legislation. As the Tennessean reported, Tennessee House Republicans cast the trio's actions as an insurrection and, at the end of Monday's session, introduced three expulsion resolutions claiming that the three Democrats did knowingly and intentionally bring disorder and dishonor to the House of Representatives through their individual and collective actions. A vote on the resolution resolution is expected on Thursday. Quote, Democrats will have little power to block the expulsions, the Tennessean noted. So they're doing this. They're actually going to expel these three Democrats. This is political retribution. They know that this isn't an insurrection that's disingenuous, and this is them just, I guess, getting payback on Democrats for saying that what the Republicans did on January 6th was an insurrection, but there's a difference between a violent protest and a peaceful protest. And even though these protesters did disrupt a session and they protested at the Capitol, that doesn't make it equal to a fucking insurrection, and they know that. And Representative Jones tweeted, Tonight, as Tennessee House Republicans push forward to schedule a vote on our expulsion, Speaker Sexton ordered the gallery cleared as the crowd chanted, Fascists! The media was also forced out as well, and then Representative Lafferty pushed him and grabbed his phone. This is a sad day for Tennessee. And now here's the video that Representative Jones shared where you can clearly see that the Republican literally assaulted him and... He's just shameless. Like, what else do you say? Just just watch it. I mean, there are cameras on you, and you're still choosing to assault your Democratic colleague. I just, I don't know what to say about this. 
Now, I guess that the silver lining is that these lawmakers aren't taking this lying down, even if there's really nothing that they can do about this. And also the people of Tennessee, they're not accepting this either, even if there's really nothing that they can do about this as well. Very well said. It's just astonishing how shameless Republicans are. And now they're trying to distract people with this bullshit expulsion campaign when they should be doing what their constituents want, which is enacting gun control. They're not asking for these Republicans to ban guns. They're asking for moderate, reasonable gun control, but they they won't do it. Instead, they're spending time on this expelling the few members of the legislature that chose to stand in solidarity with their calls for action in the aftermath of a deadly mass shooting. They just don't care. Like, I don't know how else to put this. Republicans do not care if people die, including children. They just, they couldn't care less. Representative William Lamberth is another Republican who doesn't care. And I think that he really is the embodiment of Republicans not giving a shit about dead children because after he was presumably asked to support an assault weapons ban, here's what he told his constituents, which included children, by the way. So you're not going to like my answer. And look, I'm going to say that straight up. It's not about this one gun. If there is a firearm out there that you're comfortable being shot with, please show me which one it is. There's not. Every, there's not. There's not. Right there. Every single gun in the hands of a crazy person, a deranged person, a convicted felon, every single right. weapon out there can be. What are you going to be more scared be... when somebody's walking on the street with a giant ass gun for no reason? Like, nobody's going to do good with that gun. I understand that. The goal is not to get... But it's not, you could ban that specific gun, and you were going to do almost nothing to improve y'all's safety. I'm sorry, that's a fact. So in other words, some of you may die, but uh, that's a price that I'm willing to pay. So best of luck, kids. I'll be praying for you. I just, <laughs> I'm almost speechless. It's not like I'm shocked by anything that Republicans do at this point, but to see how little they care it just it should shock everyone that this party continues to get elected and yes i understand that they rig elections due to voter suppression with gerrymandering but the fact that any american votes for them it just is shocking to me i'm not saying that democrats are amazing and everyone has to pay fealty to them but the fact that republicans that any Repo republican is politically viable it, it just it I think it's an embarrassment. Now, they're not doing anything to support gun control. And if anything, they're just going to go further in the opposite direction because that's what they've done for years after their constituents have said that they want action. Common Dreams continues, far from backing gun control legislation, Tennessee Republicans have sought to make firearms even more readily accessible in recent years. The New York Times reported last week that Tennessee lawmakers have passed a series of measures that have weakened regulations, eliminating some permit requirements and allowing most residents to carry loaded guns in public, open or concealed without a permit, training or special background checks. Yeah, so that's the Republican Party, folks. If you live in Tennessee and you try to vote for an alternative, well, these power-hungry fascists are just going to try to expel them if they do anything to catalyze action when they refuse to take action that their constituents are demanding. But none of this is surprising. Republicans across the country really seem hell-bent on making Americans as miserable as they possibly can. Again, this is the party that self-identifies as pro-life, but yet they won't even do the bare fucking minimum to protect their own citizens. There's a reason why life expectancy in red states on average is substantially lower than blue states. It's not just about gun violence. It's also the overall lack of support for their own constituents when it comes to Basic necessities. This is all due to a hollowing out of state institutions at the behest of corporations. That's freedom, though, according to these Republicans. So I'm not sure what else to say about this story. Republicans are literally destroying the country, but they're just fine with everyone else suffering so long as everything is peachy for them. So there you have it. Republicans in Tennessee are actually going to try to expel 
their Democratic colleagues all for speaking out against their inaction. It's a power grab, it's fascistic, but I am not surprised in the slightest.